And we're on. This is Dane. And Trevor. And we're in Macomb High School again. The Macomb Bombers face off against the Bushnell Prairie City Pan or Spartans. What do you expect from this game, Trevor? Everybody's going to be going fast again. You know, there's no other way to play. It's just Gotta like go last fast. Thursday. Jesus, that was fast. It, it was a rough game for Macomb. Hopefully they can bounce back from it. Central Southeastern, though, they were fundamentally sound team. Very true, yes. Which, this Bushnell team, I, I don't know if they're as fundamentally sound. No, this should be a pretty good matchup here for Macomb. They Two. can... Sorry. Keep going, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> they can... Uh, never mind, you keep going. Just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Two pretty even match teams, honestly, if I'm going to be honest. Yes, that's very true. Macomb should be able to capitalize off some turnovers. Uh, the amount of turnovers they had might not hurt them as much as it would, say, Central Southeastern. Who are you looking forward to watch this game, Trevor, from Macomb? Oh, goodness. Probably number 30, Emma Thorman. If you remember last game, she pulled up from the white line on the volleyball court. Neither of us anticipated that one. And that was a surprise. But she, she had a very good game. She had quite, she had quite a bit of three. She was hot all night. Yeah. But they just couldn't get much going defensively. You know, it was those turnovers too. The turnovers really hurt them. Defense with championships though. So if they get their defense going, they, they could come out of this game with a win. That's very true. Just gotta play sound basketball. They're definitely not going to get tired either. They play 15 platoon swaps. Yeah, fatigue probably won't be a problem for Macomb. Just real short, short times on the court. Everybody's on and off all the time. Yeah, Macomb, they're still winless on the year. They're just looking to get that first win. And this is a great chance for them to do it. Hopefully they can come off that loss. Maybe maybe it'll drive them to do better. Because they, they got obliterated. Very true. And we're on for the starting lineups. And we're back. That was the national anthem by the Macomb High Prep Band. And now the starting lineups. First for the Spartans. Number 11, Melissa Allen. Number 14, a guard, Courtney Norris. Another guard, number 21, Madison Allen. Uh, another guard, number 22, Bree Chapman. And now from Macomb. Oh, this song again. Makes you want to run through a wall, doesn't I'm, it, Trevor? I'm getting hype right now, I tell you. I tell you. And 
And starting from McComb, we have yet to see. Probably going to be four seniors. I would assume so. Either a junior or sophomore. We'll figure out now. We will. Uh, wearing number four, a senior, Emma Herr. Number 12, Grace Stumblebean. Number 20, Erica Dawson. Uh, a guard, number 34, Reagan Johnson. And to finish that off, number 43, Riley Creasy. That is the look for McComb tonight. And we are set off for the tip. Erica Dawson will be tipping off for McComb. And number 24, Deidre Lorton. Lorton for Bushman. McComb wins the tip. Hey, they get it to the corner right away. They get it into Dawson and she puts it up for two. That was a half court set. Something they couldn't get on Thursday. And McCombs going to the full court press. Bushnell easily breaks out of it. They get it down to the corner, back out, and it's tipped by Dawson. Bushnell retain possession. Good first possession for McComb though. Really good way to get it into the post and a good strong finish by Dawson. And Bushnell drives to the lane and no oh good. Rebound. And Bushnell puts it back in. That was number 14, Courtney Norris. And McComb looks to push the tempo. That's three. And it is no good. And Bushnell's looking to push the tempo. And there is a foul. It looks to be on number 12, Grace Stufflebeam. And there looks to be a substitution from McComb. That puts number 24, DJ Lorton, or excuse me, number 14, Courtney Norris, the line. First one is up and it is no good. And so it begins. Everybody's out for McComb and a whole new five in. Lorton, or Norris for the second one. It is up and it is good. We got a score of three to two with 7.18 left in the first quarter. And McCombs pushing the tempo. They kick it to the corner. It's up and it is no good. Rebound, Bushnell. And now Bushnell looks to push the tempo. They had a girl wide open up there. And now they're just passing around. Little tip. Combs looking to trap. Oh, and there's a foul on number 10, Reagan Emmerich. McCombs getting shots, but. They're just not capitalizing. Yeah, they're gonna have to probably just warm it up, you know? Gonna have to have a and good shooting day. Hallie Evans with the steal. And there appears to be a jump ball. Possession, Bushnell. And Bushnell retained possession. McComb going with kind of a half. And number 24, Deidre Lorton traveled. And a platoon swap for McComb. That was 30 seconds. 30 seconds. First one came after about 45. Wow, that's crazy. Just like hockey. Just like hockey. It, it is. I didn't know this was hockey. I thought this was girls basketball. Erica Dawson looks to drive it and she is fouled. Appears to be on number 24, DJ Lorton. That's her first and the team's first. And McComb looking to inbound the ball, looking to get it to Dawson, and they cannot. Dawson gets the ball and she traveled. She hit the ground pretty hard. Yes, she did. She looks to be okay though. And Bushnell retained possession. They get it into number 11, Melissa Allen. And she gets it back to Norris, who kicks to the corner, and it is good for two. And she stepped over the line inbounding. It's a bad mistake, but 
She almost turned the ball over. Probably would have helped, yeah, honestly. Yeah, you just threw two. it right away. We have a score of five to two with 6.27 left in the first quarter. We got a substitution, number 10, Kirsten Premble. First substitution for Bushnell. And she passes up shot and sets drive to lane and a little floater, good. And McComb looks to push the tempo. Kicks her to the corner. And she pierces the drive, kicks it to Dawson. Dawson puts it up and it is back iron, no good. And there's an over the back. Dawson had a look, she just couldn't capitalize. That's kind of what it's been early. They've getting, they're getting looks, but they just can't knock them down. And we got a platoon swap. That was the first foul on Emma Hoor. That's her first, team's third. We got a score of seven to two after 6.07 in the first quarter. And McComb going with full court press. They get the steal that they wanted. She had a girl wide open and she finally passed it to her and Gets the lay. That was a really nice pass. That was, that was good defense turned into good offense. And Bushnell easily gets out of the press. Kicks it up top. Now looking to get to the corner. And skip pass opposite side. She drives. It's up and it is no good. Rebound Bushnell. And hands it off and pass. Appears to be a foul. Uh, that was foul on number I believe 22, number. Hallie Evans. It's her first, team's fourth. First free throws up, no good. Number 10, Kirsten Preble is at the line. And second one is up, and it is good. We got a score of eight to four with 5.35 left. McComb looking to push the tempo. They get to the corner. Evans drives, kicks it. 10. It's up and it is rims out. Good offensive board though. And another. And we got a fight for the ball down low. And there's a travel. We got a platoon swap for McComb. Oh, as we have not said, number 30, Emma Thorman, who we were talking about in the pregame, is not suiting up tonight. We don't know why, but McCombs just got to do it without her. Number 20, Dawson drives, puts it up, no good. Rebound Bushnell. They're looking to push the tempo a little bit. And kicks across for the shot. It's no good. Rebound Bushnell. Bounce pass to number 14, Courtney Norris. And it goes out of bounds. McComb will get the ball back. Number 52. Gets it into number 12, Grace Stufflebeam. And Stufflebeam turns, turns it over. Bushnell's looking to push the tempo. They have numbers. And it's an easy two. We had a score of 10 to four. Oh, and there's another turnover. Number 21, Madison Allen with the steal. Tries pass and it gets turned over and there's a jump ball. McComb will retain possession. And we got a platoon swap. Score of 10 to four with 4.31 left in the first quarter. Number 24, Savannah Compton bound the ball to number 32, Avery Rexroth. And no pressure by Bushnell. Kicks it to number 10, Emmerich. It's up, no good. Evans with the rebound. She goes up, no good. Bushnell with the rebound. They're looking to push the tempo, and they have numbers. And Rexro almost got that, but, and she airballs from the short corner. Evans with the tip. Low score and a fair so far, Trevor. Yeah, McComb seems to have hit a real cold streak from the floor. Not a whole lot going in for him right now. Bushnell the inbound the ball, gets up top. They can try getting it down low. And there's a foul. I think it's on number 22, Hallie Evans. And it is. That is her second, team's fifth. 
We had a score of 10 to 4, 405 left in the first quarter. Bushnell to get the ball back in. And she passes to the corner, pass it back up, and it is tipped. Poor gets a steal. And she's taking it coast to coast, goes up, no foul, nothing there. Kicks it out, gets it back in the short corner, looking for something now. She's drive and she's fouled. Appears to be followed by number 22, Bree Chapman of Bushnell. That is her first, team second. And McCombs looking to get the ball back in. They're all running around in circles. Wow, that's quite a play. And they get into the corner to Poor. And she passes up a shot. She's looking for someone and is tipped. She gets the ball back and she's gonna drive left and puts it up, no good. Don't know there wasn't a foul there. Number 24, DJ L Lorton, pushed the tempo. Ooh, that was a good ball fake. Mid-range, no good. And she dribbles it off her foot. McComb to retain possession. And we got a platoon swap from McComb. We got 10 to four with 3.22 left in the first quarter. Urch gets into Rex Rope, who drives, gets a block shot, or shot block, sorry. And Bushnell ball there, looking to push the tempo. And they do, they kick it to the corner. They drive to the corner, get stuffed, kick it out. And, ooh, ooh. And Bushnell, and puts up three hits. No good, didn't hit anything. Just a low scoring game. Looks like everybody's getting cold now. I mean, it's cold outside, but not in this gym. It's kind of warm in here, actually. It is. Rex Rowe bringing the ball up, kicks it to the corner. She's going to drive, puts it up. Woo! That would have been very nice. And Bushnell to push the tempo. They have numbers. Kicks it. Kick it again. The drive, one dribble, puts it up. No good. Rex Rowe with the rebound. And she's just getting hammered. Oh my gosh. I don't know how there was anything there. Gives it to Evans, gives it to Urch, gives it to Kump, and it is stolen. And puts it up. Good. That was number 21, Madison Allen. Allen has six right now. Get to the corner. It's up and no good. Back iron. And there's a foul. Number 10. Reagan Emmerich. That is her first, team six. We got a score of 12 to four with two minutes and eight seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, that is her second, sorry, I was wrong. Can't win them all, am I right? Everybody makes mistakes, it's all right. And McComb going with that full court press that they like to do. And they got something, Erica Dawson steals it, but gives it back, and there's a jump ball. Bushnell's gonna stay with the ball. Very good defense by McComb on that possession. Well executed press. And they're going right back into it. Ooh, that was a very nice bounce pass. She's right, double dribble, charge. That was a nice looking charge right there. Mm -hmm. I tell you. And McComb is looking to inbound the ball. Bushnell goes man to man press kind of with the one guard. Number 42, Riley Creasy has the ball. Gives it to Dawson. Dawson's looking to make a move. And now she's looking to pass it. Gives it to number 34, Reagan Johnson, who drives and traveled. Very unfortunate. And McComb's gonna go back into their press. Number 12, Abby Donaldson's in the game for Bushnell. And that was very well executed. Ooh, very nice steal. Very good defense by McComb. 34, Johnson has the ball. Gets to the corner, she puts it up. It's no good. Good save. And Bushnell saved the ball, and they're looking to push the tempo. 
A little hesitation move, drive. Oh! Get that corn out my face! Get that corn out my face! Oh my! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Wow! Get that corn out my face! What a swat. That went 10 rows deep. Wow! That's gonna spark this crowd. And very good defensive position. Oh, they give it back. Would have been a very good defensive possession for McComb. Cannot score. And, and get another that block. Get out of my face. The block and party McCombs out looking here. Looking to push the tempo. They kick it down low. Kick it back out. It's Conner up. Three. And it is bank. No good. They look to get the offensive board, but and they cannot. Now they're going to go into their press. And Bushnell pushing up the tempo. Kind of in a half court set now. I don't really know what's going on. And steal by Hallie Evans. She has a full court breakaway. And she missed it. Bush now looking to push the tempo. And they get it to her. Oh, it's a two. No good. Urch with the rebound. She's got a girl wide open, cherry picking. Puts it up, and it is good. That is going to help with the momentum going into the second quarter. Really nice find off Bushnell's the Bushnell's going to get the last shot if they can get one up. Number 21, Allen puts it up from deep. It's front iron, no good. We got a score of 12 to six after the first quarter. Trevor, what are your thoughts on this game? Um, surprisingly, decent defense being played by both teams here. Uh, obviously, McComb came down, got that really nice block. That was something else, looking that like was, Zion Williamson. That was a great block. Great, great defense, they didn't give up a bucket. Which definitely helped. Wow. The offense is going to have to heat up for McComb, though. Hasn't been great thus far, but they're not out of this game by any means. I feel as if they haven't got many looks from inside. They've been take, they've been settling for a lot of outside threes, kind of contested. Very true. You got to look to get inside. If you can start to get inside, that'll open up some of your outside games, so you can start knocking them down. KJ Billis. We got Jay Billis and Dicky V, baby. McComb looking in on the ball. Start of the second quarter. Johnson tries to get it in, and she does to Hoor. Hoor drives. Oh, that's a nice move. Gives it to Dawson down in the corner. She drives, and her shot is blocked by Allen. And Bushnell pushes up the tempo. Allen gets the ball back. And... There's a block on Dawson. Couldn't quite get her feet set. Gave up her body for that, but couldn't get it. That is McComb's sixth, or seventh it should be. And we got one and one for number 21, Madison Allen. That is Dawson's first. First one is up, and it is no good. Rebound Dawson, and she is fouled now. And she lost the shoe. And, hey, no stoppage in the game, which that's good. We got a score of 12 to six, 741 left in the second quarter. Still plenty of time. Cole hasn't gotten a shot. Oh, actually, they did get a shot off last possession, but, and there's a double dribble on McComb. Bushnell retained possession. Their main scorer has been number 21, Madison Allen. She has six right now, six of their 12. Playing very well inside. And trapped in the corner. And it's out of bounds. McComb will get the ball back. We got a platoon swap for McComb. Number 24, Savannah Compton on the ball to number 32, Avery Rexrow. And Rexrow takes it all the way down and it's off of number 32, Aaron Curley's feet. McComb will look to inbound the ball. Gives it to Evans, who gives it to number 23, Destiny Reed, who puts it up and gets fouled. That was a really, really nice pass and some tight coverage there. She will be put to the line. 
shooting two. That is team's fifth, first on Melissa Allen. First one is up, and it is banked in. Banks open. I suppose. And it scored 12 to seven after 7.20 left in the second quarter. Second one is up, no good. And we got a line vi lane violation, sorry. And it was on McComb, number 23, Destiny Reed. Bush now able to inbound the ball. They get it in, McComb going to kind of a trap. Down the corner, good. Nice steal by number 10. Reagan Emmerich, and to turn the ball back over. Bush now to push the tempo, and Allen gets fouled again. That'll put her to the line. That is McComb's eighth foul. That is third on Reagan Emmerich. Allen to the line, first one is up, and it is good. Splash. We got a score of 13 to seven, 707 left in the second quarter. In for Bushnell, number 34, Kylie Baker. Second one up for Madison Allen is up, and it is no good. Good rebound by number 23, Destiny Reed, who gives it right back to Allen. Allen looks to drive, gets it up, and good. Allen has nine right now. Rex Rowe gets it in, and she has a girl wide open down low. To her late, and she's fouled. She gets the ball back. Whew. What do you have to say about that play? I, that was something else. I don't know what to say, honestly. That's why you dribble with your head up. If she would have done that, she would have saw her a lot sooner. Number th that's first on number 34, Kylie Baker. First free throws up, and it is good. We got a platoon swap for McComb. And the second one now for Avery Rexrow. It is up and it is no good, back iron. And Bushnell with the rebound. Ooh, that was a good hard screen by Kylie Baker. And good steal by Rexrow. Ooh, gets it poked away and... Oh, is it? Looks like Bush, it's Bushnell's ball, yep. We got a score of 15-8 with 6.42 left. Second quarter. Number 20, Meadow Bowden with the ball. Gives it, and mid-range jumper, no good. Missed everything. And McComb will get the ball back. And we got a substitution for Bushnell. Number 10, Kirsten Premble. Looks to get in the corner to here. Who looks to get to Dawson. Who looks to drive, gets it to number 12, Stufflebeam. Gives it to number 24. 54. Then, or 54, sorry, Aisha Booker. Dawson gets a rebound, up, no good. And Allen's gonna push the tempo again. Never mind, she slowed it up. Kinda surprised, figured she'd drive. Good, left hand pass. Get and that get that corn out my face. That was a very, High quality behind block. Chase down, is that yes. what you're looking for? Chase down block, my bad. <laughs> behind block, makes sense. You know. We got a score of 15-8 with 6.06 left in the second quarter. Bushnell with the ball back, mid-range, no good. Baker with the rebound, looking to get it away, gets it away, nice pass, nice reach around. It's up and no good. Evans with the rebound. Oh, oh, jump throw, nice pass. And she missed the layup. Gives it to Rexbro, who gets the rebound. Gives it to Evans, puts it up for three. Bank, no good. Reed gets the rebound back to Evans. Goes up and good with the right hand. We had a score of 15 to 10 with 5.30 left. Bushnell with the ball back. And looks like we got a platoon swap again. And there's a foul on number 55, Samantha Urch. That is the team's ninth. Her first, team's eighth. And we got, we got a substitution. That'll send number 24, DJ Lorton, to the line. 
DJ Lorton. Sorry, my bad. First one's up and no good. Bounce around a couple times. Dawson with the rebound. She's going coast to coast. Kicks to corner to here. Puts it up and no good. Rebound. Bushnell. Allen with the rebound. Dawson, second effort, trying to get the ball back. Gives it to Lorton. Who looks to give it back to Allen. And back to Allen somehow. And she missed the layup. Dawson with the rebound. She just throws it. Nice pass. That was some good. And that was some good basketball right there. Really, really good ball movement. Great pass by Dawson. Should have been quarterback. I know. Good goodness. That was a great pass. One bounce, perfect. And we got a timeout. We got a full timeout by Bushnell. We got a score of 15 to 10 with 4.55 left. Bushnell is up. So what have your thoughts been so far, Trevor? Uh, McComb has been doing all right when they can get the ball inside. It's just those perimeter shots that aren't falling for them. So again, look to go inside. Um, honestly, both teams have really been succeeding with the, the inside game. I'm not sure we've seen a three ball yet, have we? I don't think so. I mean, we've seen plenty being thrown up, but none gone in. Very true. But yeah, both teams, good fundamental basketball look to get to the cup. This has been a defensive battle, that's for sure. I would say so. I mean, it is 15 to 10. Yeah. We had a 12 to six score after the first quarter. We've had seven points. So. This should probably be a pretty low scoring game unless something crazy happens in the second half. You never know, McComb might get hot. They might start hitting threes. Hurts that they don't have Thorman though. That's true. She, she hit plenty of threes Thursday. Unfortunate loss. Number 34, Reagan Johnson to the line. First one is up and it is good. Splash. And we got a score of 15 to 11. Bushnell's still up. Number 34, Reagan Johnson for her second one. Second one is up and it is no good. Back iron. Rebound Bushnell by number 24, DJ Lorton. Who looks to go coast to coast. And nice, good steal by Emma Hoor. And we got a platoon swap for McComb. And we got a foul on McComb. Foul appears to be on number 22, Hallie Evans. That is her third, team's 10th. Madison Allen to the line. First one is up and it is good. That is Allen's 10th point of the game. She's been impact player for Bushnell, that's for sure. And second one's up and it is good. She's been the main scorer for Bushnell, getting inside the paint, definitely helped. And Urch looking to get the ball into Evans, but cannot. Gets it into number 24, Savannah Kump, who travels. It's like Bushnell employed the uh, full court press there. It worked out very well. Yes. Something yes. we haven't quite seen a lot from him yet. No, we have not. And Bushnell with the ball back. They get it in. It's number 22, Bree Chapman and get it back to Lorton, who kicks it, and another travel. Good defense possession for McComb, that's for sure. We have a score of 17 to 11 with 4.33 left in the second quarter. Savannah Urch looking to get the ball into Rexbro, and there's a foul. Appears to be on number 11, Melissa Allen, on Bushnell. And it looks like Bushnell's staying with that full court press, trying to pressure McComb into some turnovers. Which has definitely helped them so far because they have gotten turnovers. Very true. That is Melissa Allen's second, team eighth. That will put Hallie Evans to the line. And there looks to be some confusion. It is a bonus. Evans going for the first one. Getting ready. 
First one is up, and it is back iron, no good. She breaks that one, and Bushnell turns it over. Evans gets the ball's ball back and throws it out of bounds. She threw a rocket. That was, ooh, that was a laser. Just dirty little bounce pass. Would've been fine. Mm -hmm. And Bushnell gets the ball in. McComb with that full court press they've been doing all game. Gets it to Allen, who pushes it up, gets it across. Shoots a three, it's up, and it is no good. Front iron, no good. Savannah Urch with the rebound, and it's stolen by Allen again. She's going up, and good. That is Allen's 13th point. They get into Hallie Evans, and there's a jump ball. And Bushnell's gonna get the ball back. We had a platoon swap for McComb. We got a score of 19 to 11 with four minutes left in the second quarter. Bushnell to get the ball in. They get it into Allen who puts it up and good. Good move, good finish. That is Allen's 15th point. She is playing very well. They get it to the corner. She drives and gets trapped. Tries kicking it out and people are on the ground. And puts up a three, it is up and good. Dang. That is big for McComb. They needed that bucket right there. And Bushnell to push the tempo. Lorton to drive. She might have traveled. Gets it to Allen, who pump fakes. Drives, floater, no good, back iron. Board, Bushnell, and they retain possession. We had a score 21 to 14 with 321 left in the second quarter. We got a platoon swap for McComb. Bush now looking to inbound the ball. Allen's trying to get it in. Gets it into Lorton. Back to Allen. And she's kind of trapped in the corner. Gets out of it. Tries giving back to Gordon. Turned over. Gives it to Destiny Reed who can't handle it and travels. That is unfortunate. They had the opportunity. Just threw the, just couldn't quite corral it. Couldn't quite get a shot up. And it looks like we got a substitution for Bush now. Number 20, Medi Meadow Bowden. Wow. Struggling with the names today. That's right, words are hard. They are. <laughs> and Bushnell on the inbound the ball. Gets it to Bowden, who gives it to Lorton. He's looking to give it to Allen, but Allen's triple team. Gives it back to Bowden, who gives it to Allen, and Bowden traveled in the gist of it. And McComb will retain possession. Down seven with only three minutes left in the second quarter. They could easily come back. Just one Ertz more gets touchdown. it into Evans. Gives it to Reed who drives and knocked out of bounds by Allen. And McComb will retain possession. Number 55, Samantha Urch to inbound the ball. And never mind. Number 32, Avery Rex wrote to inbound the ball. She is looking to get the ball into Urge and almost doesn't. And mid-range jumper hits the top of the backboard. And Bush, Bushnell pushes the tempo, gives it to Allen, gives it to Bowden. Nice little bounce pass down low, gives it to Lorton, nice. That was some good offense by Bushnell. Gotta love the mid-range, gotta love and the mid-range. a comb to push the ball. Evans pulls up, puts it up, no good. And Lorton gets the ball back. They have numbers, they have a two on one and might have carried there, but they did not call it. Easy two for Bushnell. And we got a 30 second timeout for McComb. So Trevor, as we have a break here, who do you say have been the impact players on this game so far? Uh, for Bushnell, definitely Melissa Allen. She's been playing out of her mind. Melissa Allen or Madison Allen? Definitely uh, Madison, you know. Words yeah. are hard, as we mentioned. Hey, it's okay, you got it mixed up. Who do you say for McComb? For McComb? Um, I'd say probably Erica Dawson. I know she's been quiet lately, but you know, started off pretty well. Um, I think she can get back to going and get McComb back in this. They just gotta get her the ball more. That's all I can say. It'll help them in the long run. Down 11 with two minutes left. 
And what is going on? And they, Bushnell was not playing defense. Three by Johnson, good. Bang. That is big. That was a big three for McComb. Allen brings the ball up and gives it to Bowden, who looks to go to the corner, and she traveled with it. She knew it right as soon as they called it. We got a substitution for Bushnell, number 30 or 23, Hadley Powell, and a turnover for McComb. That hurts. Can't do that. They gotta get a bucket there, especially after a turnover. Yeah, can't give away possessions when you're no, down. Cannot. Bushnell get the ball in, and they they ran that to perfection. Besides that final pass, and there's a foul on Bushnell. That is the team's ninth. This has been a game of fouls, that's for sure. There's an awful lot of them, yeah. Fouls on number 42, Riley Creasy is to the line. That was Bushnell's 19th foul, so they're still in one and McComb's still in one and one. And Creasy's first shot is up, and it is good. We got a score of 25 to 18 with a minute 50 left in the second quarter. Creasy for the second shot. It is up, and it is front iron, no good. And Creasy with the hustle, and she gets thrown to the ground. And there's a foul. Foul appeared to be on Samantha Urch, I believe. Could be wrong. Nope, it was on number 32, Avery Rexbro. Oh, I was way off. Never mind, that was on number 23, Destiny Reed. That is her first. That'll put Bush and the first line. one is up, and it is good. Number 10, Kirsten Premble to the line. The second one is up, and it is back iron. Couple bounces, good. Friendly touch right there. We got a substitution for Bushnell. Number 14, Courtney Norris. McComb to push the tempo. Rexrow kicks it to 24. Comp Urch gives it to Creasy, and Creasy drives, puts it up, and there's a jump ball. McComb will stick with it. We got a score of 27 to 18 with a minute 37 left. Come to get the ball in. And she's looking for Creasy and gets it to her. Gives it to Rex Rowe. Looks to give it to Creasy. Gives it back to Rex Rowe. Who looks to give it to Urge, but cannot. Gives it back to Creasy. Who is trapped in the corner. Reed kicks it to Comp. Kicks it to Urge. Very good defense possession for Bushnell, that's for sure. Gives it to Reed, who drives, who puts it up, and it's, there's a block. Blocking foul, my bad. And that will send Destiny Reed to the line. That is Bushnell's 10. Wow. Game of fouls. Yeah. Fouls on number 14, Courtney Norris. That is her second. Team's 10th, as we said. First one is up for Reed Holt. No good. Not Just a the, little off on that one. Not the best looking shot. It's all right, she gets another chance at it here. She's just gotta make an adjustment. <laughs> a little bit to the right, maybe. And getting ready for the second one. It is up, and it is. Take the average. That's a made shot. Too far right. <laughs> Overcompensated. And Bushnell with the ball back. Oh, good steal by Reagan Johnson. And she gives it back to Bushnell. Bushnell gives it to Allen, who looks to push the tempo. And, oh, get that get court on my face. Case. And there's a foul, though, from a cone. That will send number 20, Meadow Bowden to the line. Fouls on number four, Emma Hoor. It's her second, team's 11th. 
And first one's up, and it is good. And the second one is up, and it is no good, back iron. And Dawson looks to push the tempo. She might do a little Euro step. Nope, she goes all the way, puts it up, no good. And almost got the board back, and nice steal. It's a back to stuff the bomb, gives it to Johnson for three. No good. And Allen with the long rebound. Throws it out of bounds for I don't know why. I'm not sure. I what think she, she tried there. throwing it off her shoe, but it did not work one bit. For somebody sitting down there in blue, maybe she thought, you know. Possibly. Same team. And McComb will retain possession. We got a score of 28-18 with 42 seconds left in the second quarter. And number 24, Savannah comes to get the ball in. She gets it in to number four, Hoyer. Oh. Who looks to get it out of the corner but cannot and travels. Good defensive possession for Bushnell, that's for sure. Looks like 21 might have taken some shots to the face. Possibly. Number 20, Bowden to get the ball in. Gets it in, back to Bowden. Who looks push tempo, looks to give it to Allen. Allen kind of sits there with it. And she might have carried it, and she did carry it. That was something you can't do, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, that's a carry. That's definitely a carry. Good stop from McComb, though. And Rex Road to push the ball, gives it to Hoyer in the corner, who drives to the left, who gives it out to Stifferbaum. And it's McComb will retain possession. Comp to get the ball in. She's looking to get into Stufflebaum or Rex Rowe. And she's having some trouble, gives it into Rex Rowe, who puts it up for two, and it, it, I think it was blocked. And Bushnell looking to kind of push the tempo. She might have traveled there, but they didn't call. Gets to the corner, drives. Nice little bounce pass there, a little, oof. Pushing people out of her way, she gets her own board and puts it up for two. And that is the second half. So, Trevor, what are what are your thoughts on this game so far? Um, McComb is having a lot of trouble trying to stop 21 Madison Allen. She's been the leading scorer for uh, Bushnell. Uh, McComb needs to press more shots. They've been struggling from the arc. Have started to heat up lately, but still got a uh, power than power inside. I agree. As we have an 18-point game, if they, if they get hot on the outside, that definitely helps. But to get hot and get open looks on the outside, they got to get it in. But otherwise, as you said, Madison Allen, she's playing out of her mind. She's playing very well. McComb, they've been kind of all around scoring. They've been playing well. That's about it. Just gotta force turnovers, not turn the ball over. That's pretty simple. That's about it. 